Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to The Melting Apartment, which is a Junji Ito inspired Game Boy horror game where you enter a bizarre apartment to investigate a missing persons case. Another missing persons case. So many lately. The parents called it in. Their daughter had just moved in. You're a couple of weeks ago, and they haven't heard from her since. I better remember my gun this time. I think I left it in the glove box. Okay. Glove box. Anything else here, or just this? Yeah. I hate using this thing. You put the gun in your inventory. Thanks. So we just go out. Where am I? Going right here. Hello. You must be the detective. Yes, I am. I'm the building manager. I run the apartment for the landlady. Wonderful woman. Please, follow me. Helen's apartment is upstairs. What if I don't follow you? Black liquid pools in the corner. It smells like... bile. A man sits there, he won't respond. Well, good for you. The basement, it's locked. My gun. I have no reason to use this now. Every step you take feels wrong. Can we have come out of, like, not the gun? You just get, like, a bad ending, like, you forgot your gun again! Your feet sink into the stairs. I think that stair is literally alive. Notice from the manager. Please keep quiet after 9 p.m. No. Ta-da, fucker. I'm grateful. Oh, it's banging on the walls. Screaming and shouting. Good riddance, frankly. The brat. I'm glad she's gone. Now leave me alone. Nice people here. Please, take my baby. Please get her out of here. I'm sorry. You should go. I'm fine now. What is going on here? My mom isn't here. She's gone. Mom always said not to talk to strangers. You're a stranger. I don't like it here. I want mom to come back. Was that something behind you? I was just kind of paying attention to that now. And for a local band. Ribbon and the Hemlocks. I've heard these guys are awful. Wow. Honest thoughts. Please. You have to get me out. Live here. I, I can't stand it anymore. I don't know why I said that. I love it here. You should go. She needs... Uh, I need a rest. You have very odd tendons here, my friend. Can I... You're a person, right? The stench of rot overwhelms you. A dinner table absolutely filthy. This will go horribly wrong for me. The couch is covered in mold. The window is jammed shut. It won't open. The TV static plays endlessly. What is this? Family photos. The girl in them looks sad. Family photos? No, that was the thing behind me. Blood. A hole has been dug into the- what's it behind the wall? It looks like the wall is bleeding. Someone tried to escape. The whole apartment is alive. The bathtub is overflowing with a black tar-like substance. Even if I needed to go, there's no way I'd use this.
What's this? The photo is ruined. Impossible to make out the image now. This must be Helen's diary. 1973, moving in took forever. Nobody offered to help me move in. Some friends I've got. Thanks, guys. Seriously? I just move in and now... The walls are leaking? Yeah, oh yeah, they're leaking, alright. This place sucks. My front door is jammed. I can't open it. I tried calling the manager, but the phone doesn't work anymore. This place sucks. That's what every line's gonna be like. It just sucks. I'm freaking out. I woke up and this gross shite was dripping into my mouth. I don't feel so good. I need to get out. I don't know what to do. Fuck this. I'm getting out of here. One way or another. That's when they start clawing through the bathroom. I'm so scared. Somebody help me. I can barely move. I feel so weak. It's hard to write. I think I'm gonna die in here. I hear someone talking to me. A strange black liquid begins pouring from the ceiling. The liquid burns through your skin. You need to find a way out fast. Do I have to find that way out fast? The bed is stained with mold. Is there repercussions? The wall appears to be leaking. The window is jammed shut. It won't open. Exactly what I need. You put the axe in your inventory. Oh yeah, see, they, she tried to get out before. The window's covered with mold. Can I use the axe here? You equip the axe. You broke down the door of the axe. It's overflowing with acid. You can't go into the room. You broke down the door of the axe. Man, axes are like overpowered in this world. No response. No response. Blood. God, what happened to him? Now, can I just leave? You can leave. But you have a feeling there's more to uncover. Yeah, leave! You leave without solving the case. Is it better this way? The end. Leave. So... Black liquid pulls the corner. Let's go in here first. The bed is covered in blood. Helen. Still got my axe equipped. No, well, I don't see it up there, actually. You know something behind the painting. Oh, must be a fan. Anime! I should put this back. No! You put the painting back. A picture of a happy man. Is this a photo of the manager? You find a journal in the desk drawer. I hear her. She's speaking to me. She wants more food. I have to feed her. She needs more. She's beautiful. She needs to eat. You reach the end of the journal. There's a hidden key. Put the key in your inventory. Living here. Do tendency agreement for Helen's old apartment. Placing already, huh? A black cancerous heart is locked in the glass case. There's a key latch on the side. Can I equip the key? You unlock the glass case. You put the heart in your inventory. What am I do with the heart? I have no reason to use this now. Hmm. Curious. You might be able to take the heart with you, too. Because going down these stairs, this seems like bad. Like, faith bad ending bad. Helen? Wait, nope, that's the manager. Oh. You found us. 
Would you like to meet her? The landlady. I should use my gun. Should you? With a decayed heart. Oh my god, I actually can like aim and shoot. It feels like I'm playing a uh, snatcher. I'm a pound normal cop. You couldn't beat me. He's dead. Good. I think this used to be Helen. Poor kid. Oh, we throw the heart in here. A fire rages in the gaping mall. What the hell is this thing? You equip the heart. You throw the heart in the fire. You're gonna burn, alright. The building goes up in flames. You drive away on CERN if you did any good. You tell yourself those people were already lost. The end. Burn. An exhausted face looks back at you. I'm tired. This job is killing me. Maybe I should just quit. Quit. Screw it. I don't need the stress. You quit your job. The mystery remains unsolved. Nice. The end. Quit. So we're gonna see if there's a bad ending of all of just staying. The acid burned for your skin. Nothing is left except bone. You have died. You died. Melted. So I'm gonna purposely fail here. You're attacked by the manager. You can't take much more damage. You have succumbed to your wounds. The manager feeds in your corpse. You have died. You died, Eden. So, that's it for the melting apartment. It was a short, obvious uh, Game Boy. Uh, I mean, it, is, it literally plays on a uh, Game Boy. It's not just like emulating a style. But it's a short, creepy thing. I did like it. I like the uh, the use of the... It's the proper use of the pixel graphics. And the Junji Ito inspired, the Japanese horror kind of inspired style always really works well on it. We've obviously seen that with a few other Junji Ito uh, tribute games. And we've seen it with uh, World of Horror and things like that. Because somehow the, the crunchiness of the pixels kind of amplifies... In particular, like body horror, or like more grotesque looking horror. There was a uh, fairly older game, I think called Wax Museum or Wax something. Uh, it was a game where you were cursed by a witch. It was first person and you like went for like your different incarnations or something weird. Like one was in a pyramid, one was uh, in some plant alien infested mine. Horrifying game over scenes, but the pixel style like amplified it. It actually made it scarier than if it was a three-dimensional modern-looking game. And maybe that's because horror is very atmospherically tied. But yeah. Uh, once again, I did like this. It was short, but I liked what I played. Detective horror games are always pretty cool. Especially when they involve going inside a giant living apartment. But yeah. Anyway. So, thank you all for watching play The Melting Apartment. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.